the risk to getting shut down in Minnesota is paramount. And the number of regulations you have to follow is crazy. So, this guy, Michelle Wolf Inc., run by Jonathan Williams, got his 245D shut down. Why? Well, there's a long list of things here, but this company operated eight branches of community residential services. Eight. Do you know how much it costs? Do you know how much it costs to start an eight branch facility and just to be shut down out of nowhere? Anyway, it says the Department of Human Services is immediately suspending your license to provide home and community-based services at Hastings, Minnesota. It says this is an immediate suspension and it's based on determination that the person served or the person served by your program are at imminent risk of harm. Immediate suspension applies to your current company, license number located, uh, and all on all your satellite community residential setting licenses. The reason for temporary immediate suspension says, on November 15th, DHS issued an order of conditional license for your home and community-based services license, which was in place for two years, it's kind of weird. Since that time, DHS has conducted numerous license reviews and investigations and has observed continued licensing violations that are escalating. On November 17, 2023, DHS determined that your action or failure to comply with the laws and rules posed an imminent risk of harm to service recipient. On September 13 through 15, 2023, DHS conducted a license review of your program and found numerous violations related to, to the health and safety of service recipients served. Since that review, DHS has received numerous reports, which includes allegations that you failed to provide required supervision, necessary medical care, failed to ensure the exercise and protection of service recipients' rights, failed to ensure service recipients' homes were safe and hygienic. Safe and hygienic. Okay? The violations and reports are systemic across all your sites and of a nature that DHS has determined the service recipients are at, at all of your licensed facility sites are at imminent risk of harm. As a result, these orders apply to all of your home and community-based license services as provided above. So, is it a good business? How do you invest in this business of taking care of others and protect your assets and, your, and stay away from liabilities. How do you manage your business without getting shut down with some serious consequences financially? That's the question uh, the Minnesota 245D program holders need to be asking themselves. Can you follow the regulation line by line, paper by paper, rule by rule? If not, there's no mercy from the state. You're not going to get any mercies. Okay? So, if they ask you to do something correctly, do it. If they ask you to do corrections, do the corrections and follow the rules and regulations. Otherwise, you will be in the hole 